All right, what's up, everybody? Vince here, and uh, I'm just now getting in touch with the spring update for Street Fighter V. Um, as it started at 3, I had work at 4, so I uh, couldn't catch it at the moment of time as it was starting. So I didn't know what was going on with the spring update. All I know is that we were going to be introducing Rose and Oro, because that's technically the next lineup for these characters. Now, I am interested in seeing what, honestly, Oro plays like. And I'm interested in what's different about Rose because we got a little glimpses what seems to be similar and what seems to be very different. So we're, I'm definitely excited for this one. So let's see what they got for us. I'll make a switch up here. Street Fighter V Spring Update. Yo, Street Fighter V Director Nakayama. Okay. 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 Cool, awesome guy with third strike. Oro is a Street Fighter 3 series character. Third strike footage. That's, this is this is awesome. <laughs> this is super cool. I mean, it'd be, I, I forget if. You know what? No, he. Yeah, he was in. Uh, yeah, New Generation in the. I think, yeah, I believe Second Impact. But uh, uh, third strike is what's good. Third strike is what's really good. ストリートファイター5ではメナトやダルシムのストーリーにも出てくるキャラクターとなっています。ではストリートファイター5のオロを見ていきましょう。ストリートファイター5。ストリートファイター5。ストリートファイター5。ストリートファイター5。ストリート
Oh, and that's back. <laughs> the, we the most weirdest unblockable projectile ever. Like, if you can't get around it, you had to parry that thing. It looks like it might maybe enough time to get like another punch in, but I don't know. Probably not. Oh, so oh, cool. The, the V skill can be uh, either a punch or a kick. That's cool. Glowing eyes. Extending grabs. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. V trigger to oh there they are. Rocks to the end, baby. <laughs> that's what that is. Technically, if you think about it, he does do the like Doctor Doom. Rocks to the end. <laughs> For those that don't know, it's an assist. That's just an assist me thing. It's a Maximilian assist me thing. Rocks to the end, baby! <laughs> Seeing all this, I'm really curious on, uh, on, um... On Oral's trials now, on his trials and uh, and just where he where he seems to be now. Now please check this out. Oh, is this uh, esports stuff? I have a feeling. Yep, yeah, esports uh, spring things. Yeah, that I remember watching that. That guy played Poison, and that was awesome. That was that was an awesome fight. What? Oh, these are all the new uh, like EX colors. Ring of Galaxy. That's actually a really cool set. Uh, yeah, give G some more costume, man. Not gonna lie, I like that blue. That blue was actually really cool. Anything glow in the dark, that sweaters or shirts is fine with me. It's fine with me. Okay, this next character, yeah, this next character should probably be, uh, it's, it's, it's gotta be Rose. Yeah. Discovering <laughs> new things on a daily basis is truly exciting. まあ、テクニカルなんですけどね、遊んでて楽しいっていうのはね、開発にとってもね、一番嬉しいことなので、はい、ちょっと楽しみにしてほしいですね。今まあ、そんなローズの動画になりますので、ぜひご覧ください。
紫の死神のカードはローズの攻撃による削りダメージが増加しますうん処置しているカードは V ゲージの横に表示されています下と中パンチ中キック同乗しのフォーチュンシャッフルで、えー、他のカードにチェンジすることができます状況に合わせて4種類のカードを使い分けてみてください V トリガー1は画面を押すと、この技が使えるようになります。Than what she previously used to be in,、um, in the Alpha series, honestly. And that was, that was the one thing with Rose. When I first started playing the Alpha series, I'll be honest with everybody. Characters that I actually liked in the Alpha series playing were、uh, Alpha 1, Ken, Ryu, and Charlie. Like, I really had fun with those characters. Then Alpha 2 showed up, and it was Ryu and Sakura. And then.、Uh, No, no, I'm sorry, Ken and Sakura, and a little bit of Ryu. And then Alpha 3, I would say it was mostly Ken, Sakura, and Cody when I, when, I、really、in, when I really got into the Alpha series and all that. Those were like everything else. Whenever I tapped into Rose, especially at least in Alpha 1, I. And she was just, a, she was just another, another character. I didn't really find her、uh, impressive. I, found her, I found, didn't really find anything interesting in her. She seemed, well, boring. And now, even now here, there is more that they added to her than what she previously had. There's some similarities, of course, with the, what, what she's always done, but brand, brand new things that we're seeing makes her actually wanting to be playable. Oh, that's right, that's right, she has a stand now. <laughs> She, a, she has a stand, that's why, because technically, what is it?、Uh, she's a,、uh, honestly, an inspiration from、uh, Lisa Lisa <laughs> in JoJo. She dresses up like her. And I think I said that in my,、uh, my previous uh, uh, update video. That's awesome. That was 24 hits? Wow. Tarot card is now to my Kai Kawarimas. Code, Tono Unse, or Urana to me, no more Ekamashi Masane. Oh, that's cool. That's her outro. Sate, Konka, you are those of those not in the card. See the show, Kai Sasaki, the Dutch Master, Yaga, the Shoka. You must be careful. One of the cards had Minot in it. Got a real glimpse of that. I am like utterly impressed with Rose. Like, so far, ever since. I said this before, ever since season three happened、um, with a lot of the characters when they, they brought up,、um, Street Fighter V has been getting better and better and better characters.、Um, it, I mean, with. To me, it was Sakura, Cody, and G.、Um, and season, of course, season four, I mean, they brought in、uh, Lucia and Poison, E Honda,、uh, e -Honda and, and Gil and Seth. And, and, and Gil and Seth are like freaking awesome to play. I love enjoying, enjoying their gameplay. And now we're seeing so many cool things、um, with Oro, and now Rose has a lot more than she ever used to. Um, you, talk about some, you talk about some crazy cool, cool ass changes, especially to Street Fighter V. Like, it all extremely changed after, after the whole lineup of Season 2. And, and、uh, I mean, I like playing Abigail. He was super fun when he was,、uh, um, when he first came out. He's really exciting to play too, like, when you really、uh, get to do his stuff. Um, but after, after a whole season three, I've been like hooked. 
Like, there have been some amazing, amazing changes in characters, and it's been good. It's been good for Street Fighter V. For this game to be out for five years, and this is what we have, and it's been getting better and better and better, like... Yeah. And a round of applause golf clap is what you're gonna get from me, like, it's great. That's an awesome grab. <laughs> Oh, and this is her. Uh, this is her theme. That's new. That's it's it's uh, it's redone. It sounds good. And we're just right now seeing her other outfit. Right now, um, looks cute. Well, you see that V-Trigger 2 doesn't really last as long as a rule. This is a straight-up Kamehameha. <laughs> April 19th. Wait, then when the when is uh, Oro? Let my beauty intoxicate. <laughs> my name is Seth. Those are pretty cool outfits. Well, Where do you want me to break you first? More jury outfits. Hi. What about the contest winner ones that uh, that happened? Are they out yet? So those were actually some cooler ones too. Yep, everybody's got it. <laughs> yeah, a big, a big sale is going on for, for Street Fighter. That's a, that's, that's definite. そうですね。ちょっといろいろ見ていただけたかと思うんですけど、今日はね、ちょっとね、秘密のあれをちょっとだけ撮ってきたので、ぜひ見ていただきたいなと思います。Secret <笑> Alright, here's my here's my knowledge of rival schools, guys. I have no knowledge. I have no knowledge. But I am aware of Akira and at least uh, Batsu are like the, the, the two characters that are like really famous for uh, rival schools. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, at least Akira I know and Wow. Is that a full V-trigger move? Okay. She's got air combos. <laughs> She's got air combos. She looked really good. She looked really good. Okay, here, okay, here's the, here, here's why I really like her. She's on a freaking bike. She is on a bike. But they only showed us one, uh, her default costume, so that's fine. But man, am I curious on the am I curious on the crazy or the other outfits that they would have her choose her? That's more references to rival schools. I, mean, I would assume they would have that outfit and then her full uh, biker outfit. I've only seen those two costumes. I have only seen those two. Is that all of it? That seems to be all of it. The heck.
仁義は果たしたぜ Was that Batsu? Is that an actually like a V trigger that just destroys you? Because if that's the case, awesome!、Uh, okay, so that was pretty, pr pr pretty sick. Okay, we got to see some Oro, got to see some cool things that、um, he can do. He's protecting that turtle.、Uh, Got to see his one other outfit, which I was actually、uh, really happy to see. He's just a, a button up. He's going on vacation. He's going on vacation. And you got to see some Rose,、uh, some really cool stuff with her. And、uh, we got, everybody got to see their, their waifu. They got to see Akira. And a, they, it was just another, another little trailer. Everybody's been, ever since that announcement, they're just going, like, gotta, gotta, work on, gotta work on it. And then show them, like, just surprise them. That secret stuff, as they said. And then they had a.、Uh, who, who else is. That's four characters. We already have Dan, and then there's those three, and we still have the fifth and final. Don't know who it is. I can't make bets, but if it's something that can surprise me from, from something from another. If it's another guest character. If the fifth character forced this final season of Street Fighter V, if it's something from King of Fighters, I'm all for it. If it's something from another, another, Cap, another Capcom game, if it's something from maybe Darkstalkers, sure, I'm for it. I doubt it'll happen. Because、um, all we're getting from Darkstalkers are just skins. I don't think we're going to get a Darkstalker Dark character. Um, if it's a Marvel character, that'd be freaking awesome. That'd be really cool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling, though, that it's going to be a King, is, King of Fighters character.、Um, that'd be a cool tie in. I have a feeling it's that way. But if they want to really want to surprise us and it's a Marvel character, which I doubt. Maybe. Maybe. You know, cross your fingers,、uh, get your hopes up. Whatever. I don't know. I have no idea. But my. If I'm going to go 50 50, it's a King of Fighters character. Probably. Probably. Who do I believe it will be? If it's for sure. Either, either Keo or Terry Bogard. Maybe. If I, had to pick, if I had to pick a character from King of Fighters to be a fifth character, if this is the case, if this is the case, we don't know. If it is the case, I would, say, I would assume those two because.、Um, well, three characters uh, uh, Kyo, Iori, Terry Bogard, technically sell、uh, King of Fighters. You see those guys, you're excited to get the King of Fighters game. Along with everybody else that's, a, of course, a part of the,、uh, the series, a part of the,、uh, the cast.、Um, but if you really want, if you truly、um, want, to make a, want to make a sale, it, it would be probably those three. Mainly Keo or Terry, those two. Why? Because everybody recognizes them,、um, especially me.、Uh, That's that, that's that, that case. But,、mm, or if it's something completely different, a completely different guest from something far out that can work in Street Fighter V as it is right now, you r e welcome to surprise me. I don't, I'm a loss for words on who that could be. No clue. No clue. But, uh,. This,、uh, this spring update was pretty swell. So, April 19th is Rose. I don't, I don't think they said anything about Oro coming out either. But it,、um, but it seems like he will be, he's going to be after Rose. If I can, if I can pull up, actually, I should, I should check out the,、uh, uh, the lineup of, of what, they, what they showed. Yeah, okay,、oh, okay. Oro is after, is, is after Rose. So,、um, he. 
Okay, so she's April 9th. It says right here, yeah, she's April 19th, as they said. And he is probably... It's probably next month. I don't know. Um... No, he would actually be... Summer? He'd probably come out in the summer. Like, they showed him off, but they've, we've only gotten a date on Rose. But he might be the, the, he might be the summer because... Akira, if I remember, is supposed to be, like, the next character for next year. Like, the fall of 2022. Mm, man, it's a, it's, it's a wait. Unless they can surprise us like they did with G and Sagat, where everybody what doesn't, didn't know when they were going to come out, and they both came out the next day at EVO, and they just said, out tomorrow. Oh, that would be a sick reveal. Say both Oro and Akira both come out. Or, uh... Or, um... Or Akira... Or we get Oro, and then Akira shows, and then the next character is revealed, and then they both come out at the same time. You know, something like that. You know, that would be pretty sick. Yeah. It's a lot of high hopes for, for, this, last, for this last season, and it's been, it's been going good. Dan's a lot of fun to play. Rose looks like she's a lot of fun to play. I'm excited for Oro. I'm actually really excited for Akira. But like I said before, I don't have a whole lot of Rival School's knowledge, but she does look fun. Is she the only one that has aerial attack, it looks like? And that has to be a Rival School's thing. That has to be a Rival School's thing. Like an aerial just an aerial attack it's just a juggle the entire time but i'm super excited for this entire this entire cast it's super fun but uh yeah i'm glad i i'm glad i, I finally watched it and uh this just can't wait for more can't wait for more to see what the other what the next update will be it's definitely this is spring so it's definitely going to be another summer update and uh we'll definitely be looking forward to that one but that's my reaction to this whole thing. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment below, and let me know what you guys think. If there's some knowledge that you can guys can give me, that'd be super, super cool. I'll definitely check it out. And also, please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed it because there's a whole lot of fun in this channel that always happens. Either it's Let's Plays, uh, online match either online matches of games that, that i that i've of fighting games that i love to play um or fun little reactions that happen with with this definitely subscribe pretty prees pretty prees that's what i just said pretty prees if you can thank you guys for watching my name is vince and i'll see you guys next time